What's up folks and happy Wednesday to you guys man, happy hump day, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So we are going to try out a new game that was recommended to me by one of you guys and like I said in numerous videos man, if you guys do have a game that you want me to try out or play or whichever it may be, I'm 100% I'm on board man because obviously there are thousands and thousands of games out there that I would love to try but if I don't know those games I've never seen them I never come across them I can't try them right so this game it's gonna be a little bit different man I if you guys hear typing in the background it is the game the game is typing all this nonsense on my screen it is saying like this game is not scary do not play this game at nighttime I am warning you this is not a mistake this game is not scary okay I get it you're saying it's not scary but the writing is in red, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be scary. I think they're just playing with me. Here you go, guys. You can see exactly what I'm looking at right now. Warning, this is not a scare. This this game is not scary. Don't play this at night. No, it is not a mistake. <laughs> I wasn't messing with you guys. All right, this game is, it's called, It Is Just A Story. Wish List Now. I don't think that's part of the title. <laughs> I think that's just below below the title I think the actual title is it is just a story I think it wants us to put this on our wish list maybe I don't freaking know we're gonna try it out man this is going to be a survival horror type scary crazy jump scare game where we have to figure things out it's like applied logical thinking adventure we don't do good with logical thinking games because we don't really see outside the box as well as we should and sometimes it takes us a little bit longer to do a simple task. But you know what, man? It is fun, so who cares? All right, I'm not sure why it says continue. I've never played this game. Not once. We're going to try it. It was released back in 2023 20, of July, so it's about a year and a half old. Not bad. Let's try it. Uh, I don't know. We'll try it before we buy it. This is free. This is 100% free, so if you guys do like this game, go on Steam. Go on Steam. Find it. Play it. Do what you want with it. Let's try it out. Let's get you used to things first. Okay, press any key. It is going to get us used to how to play this game, which is probably like every other game you play. Same controls. All right, before you begin your journey, why don't... Okay, I guess I'm not reading fast enough. Uh, eating would be done automatically. This is to get to know the game. Part, Dude, I am not a very, very fast reader. Like, this is... <laughs> And so, in most cases, you will want to find... I'm not even going to try it. Not even going to try it. We could pause it, but I don't really care, guys. We'll just kind of go as we go and figure out how to play the game. Again, I'm assuming it is going to be like every other game that we do play. Um, as far as the basic controls, you know what I'm saying? Most online PC games, they don't really stir away from, from crazy controls. They're all about the same, right? They're all, you know, the W, the D, whatever. They're all about the same button, so I'm not really too concerned on how to play the game. And again, I like learning hands-on, right? As we play, we will learn how to play. We will learn how to, I guess, survive this crazy, crazy game. If we can get past whatever this screen is, that would be great. Uh, please survive and don't think it's not true. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about because it's true. Okay, it is true. Don't forget that, guys. It is true. 100% true. All right, guys, we are here. Um... We, we can't really look around. We can go like a hyper speed and we're just going to keep going forward. There's no way to go right or left. As far as like moving our heads, we can't do that for whatever reason. I, I'm not really sure. That's strange. So maybe we should have read the uh, directions because, again, I don't know what the hell. Let's just do this. This is the easiest way to do anything, guys. All right. So move right move left obviously zoom is the mouse maybe we cannot look to the right or look to the left right maybe that's not even an option but again where are we just just gonna walk straight we're gonna walk straight into the black abyss i don't necessarily think that's correct um okay we can drag what is this a door why would i want to drag the door i mean i guess if we need to we can drag the door what is going on like i don't understand what what the hell we're doing here like 
drag. Well, your dragging isn't working very well. Not very well at all. I just want to get past whatever this part is, guys. If we can do that, that would be fantastic. Can I pick up the flashlight? We're going to we're going to knock shit over until we can start picking things up. Like I can't I can't even look at that stuff. I can run it over, I can step on it, I can move this freaking crate and then knock it into the black abyss as well. All right, guys. Well, we have we have the crate. Can we throw it? Let's grab it again. Let's go and throw it. I okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe I, I want to try to grab a flashlight so we can see, but I can't like I can't put my head down. My head doesn't go down. Nothing seems to want to work. This is trippy, dude. Like I'm not a fan of a game that I can't even control my guy's movement as far as his head, and we are literally on a piece of plywood or a piece of floor, a piece of wood. And there's a, like a door just in the middle of nowhere. I I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know what this. Well, I don't know what's going on, dude. I'm just I'm just gonna walk forward. I'm gonna walk forward, and I'm gonna see if we can figure out what to do. Maybe we can walk into a different black abyss or some type of light. But the thing is, I don't think we're actually going off this little floor. I don't think we're doing it. So I'm not really sure. Not really sure what to do. Oh, shit. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Watch this. I'm ready. Okay. 1932. I don't know a what happened. Months back Here we just go. Before the incident, there was a city called O. You can call it O region on Earth. It was where the humans with high intellectual abilities stayed. That, while other parts that would of the not world be me. were way behind in terms of technology and science. They were already far ahead. This kind of community was only allowed and protected by the Gov because thanks the to gov? such people it was sure Hell that yeah, the world the would gov. advance soon and that things are tested out on themselves. Oh, before the world. The Gov. All right, all right. We're gonna go over to next. I'm glad we got out of that little whole situation because that was you know, really weird. They didn't weird. have political power, but they obeyed the government. They were like babies that babies. are not harmed but must obey if they want to enjoy freedom. You better obey. Everything was going so or smoothly else. until human greed da, da, da. saw no limit to the possibilities of science and wanted immortality. Huh. The higher ups, to be precise, wanted that, and they demanded that O makes that possible for them. O made a meeting with the top scientists in the city and formed three teams that were to look for the solution from three different approaches. Gotcha, Team Gamma gotcha. was in charge of brain preservation to be able to store and transfer the brain of a person successfully into another body. Team Beta was in charge of mapping and converting the whole brain into digital form and Team Alpha was in charge that of mutation of the blood cells. That is a long ass sentence. Holy cow. All right. Can we play? We we understand things Out are going. These okay, teams. we're <laughs> we're not gonna keep listening to this dude. Like Dr. he does Dan worse does introductions than I do, or not introductions, intros than I do. The like, time of bro, incident. we get it. Let's get some gameplay going on here, man. Come on now, play. Weeks later, Dr. holy shit, isn't it? Okay, I understand he's explaining the story. All right, as he moved more in. He Clearly, saw... stuff's happening. Things are going south here in the country, later, the state, up, wherever we live, and. That's about it. Dr. Maybe Dan we wants to find didn't out what obey happened. somebody or something. I don't know who the hell these people are. Mr. Dan and his wife, his daughter, was the one who took the picture. Why is there two O's in the word who? Unless I've been spelling it wrong my entire life. I don't know. I could have been. Level one. Dan wakes up in a strange house and tried to find out what is going on. All right. Okay, we can move our heads. <laughs> Fantastic. Dan Thank up in a strange the house game, God. To find out what is going on. Okay. Hello, nine one one. All right. Let's look around. We can, we can examine the radio. Oh, that's a very nice radio. Oh, what was that? Hello. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm not sure where I'm at, and I'm not sure how I got here, but I'm here. You have a mice problem, is what it sounds like. We can examine the apple. We're going to steal some shit, bro. Hell yeah, what's up, Buddhist? All right, guys, let's continue on. What? Again, you have a little bit of a mouse problem. I, I heard it. God damn, it's a big one. It was a mouse. I found myself in this house. House. Hello. What? Hello. Welcome to the Cookie Mart. Is this an action to scare me? 
<laughs> I think I'm not Stop talking, leave. bro. Stop talking. <laughs> what is this? Oh, shit. No, we ain't taking that. What is it? Oh, what? Okay, we'll take it. Th okay, I thought it meant we can, like, actually use it. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, homie, we ain't using that. No way. Okay, we have a lantern. We have a lantern in a house. Yes, we do. Whoops. There we go. Where's the lantern at? I lost my lantern. It is gone for good. The lantern is no longer with us, folks. The mice have eaten the lantern. We are in, like, are we on Mars? I mean, where are we, bro? There's, like, mountains everywhere. This is a pretty legit place to stay, though. I would love to explore some mountains. Lies covered in blood. I did not want to do it. Sorry. Well, you know what? If you did it, you kind of wanted to. I'm just saying. All right, guys. Let's get our lantern back out. Or not. I was just kidding. Who needs a lantern anyways? Well. Okay, is there a light switch? I don't see a light switch. Door is locked. Okay, we do need to get our lantern out. And I don't remember what the hell button that was. I, I thought it was a Q button. Unless we like have an inventory. Do we have an inventory? Oh, the number one button. Okay, number one. Let's go back. There we go. We are crawling. Stop crawling, homie. I hope that's not like gasoline because fire and gas, they don't really mix that well. The door's locked to find another path. Okay, well, we'll definitely find another path. You, better, you bet your ass we will. Hey, does this light switch work right here? Oh, where our lantern go? Oh, no. It burnt out already? Oh, that's not good. We need more oil. We need lots and lots of oil. Here is a letter of some sort. Let's see if we can go ahead and examine this we found a clue do you believe in the supernatural yes capital i i did long before capital i do now as i am writing this to you again you know i'm going to say i can't get in contact with my husband my home is being invaded by them i hope we can make it out ah he dead she dead whoever somebody's dead somebody's always dead okay let's see if we can find some more baby oil or whatever kind of oil we had. The radio is doing pretty good, guys. Let's check the uh, drawers here, and we cannot. Phone still does not want to work. You have a very, this is a very foggy house. Very foggy. <laughs> like, you should probably do something about that. Can I grab the candle? Hello, good sir. Bubba. Buddha. Whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, what can I use? Nothing, nothing in here, nothing in here. Oh no, we found another clue. What is this? The doomed year, 1932. All right, let's go ahead and put that right back in its home. Good job, good job. Let's go ahead and get down here, down and dirty. All right, all right, let's check this. Oh, another clue. I think it's gonna be not the same one. It is the same one. I can't see anything, dude. I need more freaking vegetable oil or whatever kind of oil I had. I definitely need some more. Definitely need a lot more oil. What is that in the corner, you ask? It is nothing but a piece of wood. There is lots and lots of wood everywhere. Okay, cool. So, no idea where to go, what to do, or how to do it. Nothing is working here. We are stranded forever with a lantern that doesn't want to work. We have a banana. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can heal ourselves. Oh, let's check this out. We have this, right? Combine. Combine. <laughs> uh, okay, with oil lamp. Okay, I'm I'm trying to combine. But it doesn't want to combine. What kind of shiznit is that? Now, can we do this? Can we do... Dan was puzzled and lost in the house. He seems to be combined. looking for a key or mean through to the rest of the house. He entered a dark room and saw an air vent, which ah, is a place where air comes and goes No from. shit! An air vent? It was a place where air comes? You learn something new every day, folks. Okay, well, there that is, right there. We're going to jump up with our lantern. All right, all right. We're going to grab this piece of garbage, throw it off. Get! Be gone! Uh, throw. There we go. All right, we're going to crawl. We are in the duck work. Oh... I always wanted to do this, like walk through here. One uh, would be this size right here, not like a super small one where I would get stuck. 
that would not be very fun. We're going to throw that. We are in a different room with a very state-of-the-art TV. Brand new TV, I might add. Very nice, very nice. Yep, yep, cool. All right, let's see if we can get some electricity going. There. Oh, sweet. Now, what did that do? This is an old-ass washer? I don't know, man. I don't know. We got a key. All right, we got a key. To what? No one knows. Is there no door in here? Oh, man. Oh, we got to climb back up? All right. Well, that was that was fun while it lasted. So we probably got to grab this bad boy, stick it right here. There we go. Looks great. Throw it. I mean, we could just set it down. But I guess if you want to throw it, come on, Billy. You got it. Oh, jeez, Louise. I did not think... I did not think we were going to make it, guys. I really didn't. I thought we were stranded in that room forever. If you have claustrophobia, bro, you would not want to be stranded up in that room. Hell no. That would not be fun. Oh, sh shit. Oh, God. I'm dying. What the hell? What the hell just happened? What was that? I got to eat a banana. Eat. Eat. Oh, God. That is so good. All right, we had like, that gave us 10 hit, hit points. I mean, HP, that didn't really do much. How did we get hurt? What happened? I, I don't have no idea what the hell. Okay, now there there's that room. I don't want to go back in that room. I have no idea what the hell just transpired there, dude, but we just got annihilated by something. We really did. All right, guys, we are now entering this room this is a living room this is a main room folks this person in this house really loves to read they literally have 75,000 books here I'm not even lying I counted them earlier 75,000 in one hundred percent and here is the one this book right here okay it's a very very special book it is a book it's all it is it's a book nothing very important we have another state-of-the-art TV right here guys on the floor it would be kind of hard to watch if you're sitting in the chair. You might, you know, it might kink your neck. Gah. What? What is happening? It's like I got freaking drugged. Ooh, hell yeah. We have an axe. We're going to go axe somebody a question. We're going to axe them in the face. We're going to beat their ass. What we're going to do with our axe. Little axe beaten in the ass. Yeah. All right. Does a light work? Yeah, okay, put your lantern away. We are good to go, guys. We have electricity. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight. I love the electricity. But now, what is the end result? Where are we going? There is a picture of a person doing a push-up. Right here. Look at that. Hello. Hello. What? What happened to that girl? Oh, God, no, never mind. That is not a push-up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is... That is not normal. Oh, nice. We got a flashlight. Uh, how do we use our flashlight? Go to tab number three. Okay. So, yeah, that is definitely, definitely not normal behavior. Grab the other battery, you pilgrim. Oh, my goodness. Why is this so difficult? Why is this? I can't even see it now. There it is. Take. And is that a piece of meat or what? It. I think it is. I think it's a piece of meat trying to examine it or take it I don't know if I can I can't like get it lined up oh oh there we go oh okay well that just closes that okay so yeah this person whoever lives here they have a giant piece of meat in their drawer interesting so here's a better look guys that is not normal that is not a a thing a person should be doing you might want to get checked out. Just saying. You might want to go to the hospital and figure out what is happening to you because uh, you're not normal. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be mean here, guys. But when you're bending your legs like that, you are a demon, or very, very flexible. I guess. I, I don't really know. Door is jammed. Okay, we got to find another way to get into that room. We could probably turn that off for now. We checked. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay, nothing on the ground. Let's go back over here, guys. Maybe we did miss something somewhere else. Uh, 
All right, this is the closet of some sort. Scary, scary closet. All right, so we got to find an, find another key, and there might be one just floating around here. I mean, you never know. We could have missed it. Door seems to be locked on the other side. Now, that is very sketchy, all right? Who locked the door on the other side? Who is on the other side of this door? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. We're going to find out together at some point in time, guys. We're going to find out who was on the other side of that door, who was blocking it, and why are they blocking it? But first, we got to get a key. I am telling you, why can't we... We can kick it. We can move it. Why can't we grab this? Maybe put our flashlight away. See if we can grab it now. No, we still cannot grab the piece of meat. I just wonder if I missed a... Oh, uh, not a flashlight. <laughs> I wonder if I missed a key in here. We definitely did not miss a key. Is there one on the ground? Is there one out here? We are still on the planet Mars. Or I guess it's a star to be politically correct or some shit. I don't really know, bro. No one knows anymore. Nobody knows. All right, let's go ahead and examine these books just to see if maybe there's something on the book. You never know. It could be a key. could be a clue. Oh, that turns the light on and off. Can we sit down? We cannot sit down. Oh. Examine this. All right, we'll put that away. Let's go ahead and check every little inch in this room, guys, because we're missing something. Nothing with the painting. There's got to be something to do with this painting. All right, well, we did this already. We are standing on a <laughs> freaking table thing, dude. Oh, my guy is crazy. He is very, very crazy. All right, guys, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go ahead and make sure we actually look everywhere because I think we're missing a key. Okay, this is the beginning. Wow. Not a very big house. We haven't gone very far, so we have re we really haven't missed anything at all. Better watch transmit power. But anyway, yeah, that's on the back page of the hmm. Who is that? Probably just a standard painting, standard picture, whatever it may be. Probably just one picture. You know how people buy like picture frames and they never put their actual picture in there? We were all guilty of it. Everybody does it. That's probably what that is. They probably bought this giant picture frame and they're like, oh, we can put ourselves in there and everybody can see our big heads. Yes, that would be fun. And they never did because they're dead. So that sucks for them. We can maybe like, you know, maybe take a picture of ourselves and put our picture in there just so they have a picture in their giant picture frame. Wait a minute. Was this chair always knocked over? Bro, I don't think it was. I really don't. Now I'm going to have to go back and check my game because I am almost like 99.9% .9 certain it was not knocked over prior to us going back to the front door. It could have been, but I'm I, I'm not going to say it because if it was knocked over, I'm going to look like a freaking idiot. But I, dude, I'm telling you, man, I don't believe it was. It might have been. Who knows? Either way, guys, why is it knocked over now? You know what I'm saying? Probably shouldn't be. Maybe we can turn the TV on. Let's try it. Nope. There's a clue. Uh, we were able to run here and lock the door for now, but we don't think this would hold them because there are some that pass through walls. I hope my husband went to deliver the solution to the headquarters. Anyone reading this, go F yourself? Like, what do you mean? What the hell, bro? It's not very nice. Okay. Nothing else down there. Hello! Let me in. Door is jammed. Well, is there a way? Oh, dude, here we go. Check this out, guys. I got it. Number two. We got this. Ready, set. Anything? No. 
the hell, man? Not the lantern. Anything but the lantern. Well, hey, I thought this would work. But clearly it's not. So we have an axe. What are we... What are we axing here? Like, what are we doing? It's got to be something that we have to hit. Right? I mean, I can only uh, I can only think so. Like, I don't know. Like, why else would we have a an axe? Let me in. All right. Well, that is not working. That was my whole solution. I was so excited. I was so happy. I'm like, hey, we found a way to get through that door. And guess what? We were literally denied. 199% denied. All right, we effed that door up, but now it looks like it's brand new. Nothing happened to it. Nothing at all. So I'm very confused as to where we have... Oh, maybe you have to axe this thing? <laughs> That's not working. I'm telling you, man, we have to do something with this. And I'm not sure how to grab it. Like, it doesn't look like we can. Our flashlight is dying. Let's get our lantern. Good. Thank God we have a lantern. It looks like a female. It really does. Like, that's the, the bra right here, or bathing suit top. The bottom, the belly button would be right here. Obviously, the head would be right there. So, yeah, that's definitely a uh, female's body. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. Let's go ahead and... Combine that with that. And see if that did anything. It is still very dim. Let's try it again. Combine. There we go. Okay, now we're now we're working with some magic here, guys. I, I just feel like we missed something, man, and I don't know what it is. Like, how do we get through these doors? There's like no other place for us to go. There's nothing else for us to see. So I am, you know, very, very confused on where to go and what to do. And so, like, like I've said before, man, a lot of these games, if you don't find exactly what they want you to find, you're never going to keep going. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to be like, man, how do I get to the next lap, uh, step? And you just got to keep trying, man. You got to keep trying. You got to retrace your steps. Retrace your steps, and then eventually you're going to find what you need to find. But sometimes it just takes a little bit longer because there's a lot of things that we could have missed. You know, we're, we're going pretty fast. You know, we did miss that key earlier kind of missed it you know if we didn't have a lantern we like we would have hundred percent missed it but so we have already read this let's rotate it I did not want to do it sorry okay well that sounds like a bullshit excuse and it sounds like you kind of did want to do it because you did and then you wrote a note like literally afterwards I'm assuming it's afterwards like hey I didn't really want to do it, but I did. Why is that down there? What is that? We picked up a herb. Okay. What did we do with it? What is a plant containing whatever that word is? Photo chemicals that help heal small wounds. It heals 15 hit points. All right, cool. Investigate the house and find clues. Well, we're trying. We're trying. You see, we did miss something, guys. I'm telling you, man, there are little things in, in a lot of these games that a lot of folks miss. And we've missed a lot of things in a lot of games, but that's why I always retrace my steps. Go back to square one, figure out what we did, what, what we can do differently, you know, and then we can eventually get past what you got to get past. But I'm still a little bit stumped with this one because I feel like we've literally gone everywhere, looked at everything, tried to open up every drawer that we can. It's got to be something in one of these books, man. It just has to be. But that's the only book. What are we stuck on that we can pick up? 
It's this one right here. And it says absolutely nothing. We got that. There's no keys. Yeah, we're stumped. We're stumped, man. 100%. So we are going to have to figure out a way to get past this part. And it's not going to happen today. What was that? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like something moved. Hang on. It's still jammed. Yeah, dude, it totally sounded like something like went vroom, like moved. Like, what was that? Where was that? And who? <laughs> who was that? Oh, that's radio. Okay. I was going to say, like, I hear something talking. What is talking? Something is talking. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is we're probably going to end this episode. Hang on. Have we not checked? Yeah, we checked this drawer. But I don't think we can see very well. All right, well, there's nothing new besides the oil, which is good. I mean, I'll take it. We can't take that guy. So, yeah, what we're going to do, guys, is probably end the episode here. And I'll do a little research to see how to get past this part. Because there's something that we're missing. And I don't know where it is. Like, we've literally covered everything, man. Like, we went everywhere. We checked everything that we possibly can. Unless there's something up here that we didn't see, but I don't think there is. Nothing back here. There's nothing in there. That's for the electricity. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to end our episode here. We're going to come back with some more knowledge on what we have to do to get past this part. Because right now we're stuck, man. We are 98,000% stuck and I don't see a solution. I mean, usually I can figure these out. I've been playing enough of these games for a very long time. I can usually figure out what we have to do to get past this part. But right now, bro, I've got nothing. We are literally stuck. All right, guys. Anyways, we will come back. We'll come back to this game in a couple days. I think it's going to be a good one. I have a good feeling. I mean, I think once we dive more into this house... What the hell is that? All right, well, that's definitely from the axe. Huh. I am very, very confused why that's there. Like, was somebody trying to get through this wall? Hmm. So we are sweating profusely. My guy is sweating so bad. So like our marks, our marks move or disappear, but these, these do not. So yeah, I'm wondering, I mean the ax, dude, the ax has to be for something. It really does. I just don't know what. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. So, folks, what we're going to do is we are going to end this episode here, man. Hope you guys have a great Halloween tomorrow. Get lots and lots of candy. Y'all be safe, man. A lot of people out there driving around, they don't pay attention. They don't pay attention, and it gets it gets dark super early nowadays. And it's a, here in Michigan, at least where I live, it's supposed to be like a, a stormy-type day. So, hopefully, that does not happen because that really sucks as a kid, dude. I remember, I remember so many Halloweens. As a kid here in Michigan, where it was so brutally cold, it was terrible. But it was so worth it to get a ton of candy, to dress up, to hang out with your friends, have a fantastic time. That is what it's about, dude. Weather is weather, right? You can get cold and wet, and you'll you'll come home, you'll dry off, you'll warm up, and you can enjoy all of your candy and have a fantastic time, make memories, 
be safe. This bitch is in so many freaking video games, bro. Like, she is in, I would say, probably eight or nine. Guy? What? <laughs> that looks like a chick. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That is... That is the ugliest guy I've ever seen. Either, either way, whatever this thing is, what a, that looks like a freaking female. It could be a guy. It looks like a lizard. He or she is in every game. A lot. God, dude, what is up with these pictures? Um, a lot of games. This thing is in it. That kid has no head. That is trippy. Um, all right, guys, we're going to end the episode here. We can do this all night. But either way, man, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Have a great Halloween, and I will see you next time.